Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me. The train might come soon and cut me off, but I am currently on my way to this, uh, I guess it's a private party, but it doesn't really seem like a private party. It just seems like, I don't know, they have these parties every week. But this girl that I met at the club that I worked at the other night, she's working there tonight and she invited me. So I'm trying to see what that's like. I did oversleep. So okay, so I had, today was Friday the 13th and today was the worst Friday the 13th I've ever experienced. I didn't even know it was Friday the 13th until my cousin pointed it out. <laughs> so this morning I woke up to a boot on my car. A ticket for $115 and it cost $185 to get the boot removed. I had to rush to the fucking police station to get the boot removed because if you don't do it within two hours, then they tow your car and you have to pay an extra 200. So then it comes out to be 400. So then I went up there to go pay that. Then I came back home and I had another ticket on my car that said if I didn't move my car within one hour that I was gonna get another boot on it and a tow. I'm like, damn, so I'm trying to hurry up and rush home. I called my fucking Uber. The Uber canceled on me. I called second Uber. The second Uber canceled on me. I had to walk home. It took me 40 minutes in the rain. So I woke up to a boot. I had to walk home 40 minutes in the rain. The Ubers kept canceling me on me. And it took my money, even though it canceled on me. Um, I was on my way to do some Instacart. I had to cancel my order, so I lost out on money. Then I worked all day. I didn't go home till 8 o'clock. I tried to take a nap. It was just all bad. Here's my train. I think I literally have two stops. I'm going to Manhattan tonight. My charger, my Okay, <laughs> so I'm leaving now. Honestly, tonight was like question mark. So genuinely, like, okay, so let me just say what happened as I'm walking to the train station to go home. It's 5:10 in the morning. But yeah, I'm walking to the train station home right now. Um, my second, I think I'm taking this train right here. Hold on. So luckily, I got to work tonight. And at first, I was making no money. Yeah, but other girls was making money. I think it's because, you know, they got there earlier. And I was making no money. And then, um, then as soon as I felt the energy go up, like I was about to start making money, um, the, the guy who was throwing the thing, somebody stole his phone, which was insane because he was so nice. Somebody stole his phone. So that was trash. Then mad people left after that because they started getting real rowdy and ignorant, you know? 
And then I figured out, because you know, I drive, so I don't take the train all the time. I just started taking the train, like, because I've been getting tickets and fucking boots on my car. Like, I've been back in New York for three months. I've gotten $900 worth of tickets and boots in those three months. <laughs> like, a bitch needs some money. So, anyways, after that happened, whole night got dead. It was, I was upset. Changed my clothes, put on my regular clothes. Like, everybody started changing. And the guy, he was like, nah, y'all, please stay. Like, he was like, don't worry. Like, I appreciate you. It's like, if you stay, if you want to leave, you can leave. But, like, stay if you can. And I, oh, yeah, the train. The train stopped running from, like, 1 a.m. to 5. So I had no choice but to stay here till 5. Unless I was about to spend it with $40 for an Uber, which I don't have any more money on my card after I just paid for the tip out. And I lost my debit card earlier. So, like, yo, like, it was just a stressful ass Friday the 13th. So then, whatever, um, we decided to stay. He did gave us all $20 for staying, which was really nice of him. And he gave me weed. He gave me a decent amount of weed, like, at least two grams or a little more than that. I don't know. Um, which was really nice of him. So I went back out there for like 20 more minutes. I put back on my outfit and I made some more money. I got like the money thrown on me on the floor, which was nice. And somebody tipped me, which was nice. And then, yeah, just decided to sit down. Cause I mean, I had an hour or less, unless I was about to take three buses home and ride the buses for an hour or just wait for this train because it's only a 30 minute ride on these trains. So I decided to just wait and roll up the weed that they just gave me, get comfy, chill out. Last time I rolled up my spliff and shit, I only had like 20 minutes left. So I just rolled up a second spliff for the road. And then as I'm walking out the door, leaving right now, I couldn't find my mask. I dropped my mask in the place on my way out. I had to walk all the way back up the stairs go in there and pick up my mask off the floor, which is pretty gross because it was on the floor. And I just had to, you know, shake it off and pray and hope that it's okay. But I needed my mask and I can wash it when I get home, which is what I'm gonna have to do. And I think the train is coming. You're not gonna be able to hear me, my bad. I'll, I'll, in a second. And smoking towards the end of the night. And the girl that, um, invited me there or even told me about it i should say the one that i met at the first club she seems pretty cool and i would definitely like dance with her again if she wanted to dance somewhere else she was talking about going to some club and i would definitely go to the club because i really want to find a home club because the first club that i danced at oh, there's my people on this train So let me. The MTA guy. He was so cute. He was behind his window and he was like. I was like, thank you. Isn't it crazy how much we can read off? Like gestures and cues like without words damn my legs hurt no more stairs thank god i have an elevator oh god i'm out of breath my bad and sorry for the lighting again it's like 5 40 in the morning but um i was talking about the other club the other club that's so much better. The other club is, um, it's really cool, but it's really small. Um, I could tell, like, they got their girls that they like. Also, they don't have a house mom right now. So the bartender is in charge of the girls coming in and really didn't like how she spoke to me and Jamie. She didn't come at me crazy or anything, but it's just like, okay. But yeah, so looking for another club because I just want a main club. I want to be able to come to work whenever I want to come to work. 
I just want to have that security of a club. Like, this is my club. So, I think next week I'm going to audition at, at least, like, three or four throughout the week. I'm also... I might do another party. Probably not tomorrow, but maybe next week. And also, there's another spot. The security guard from the other spot. He works in another place. And with the girl that I was with tonight, she said she heard that his spot is pretty lit and they make money in there. So I'm going to check it out. No, it doesn't hurt. But I just think it's really interesting that in my journey of becoming a stripper, that I still don't have a main club. And I've only danced two nights, but it feels all right. Also, I do understand how girls could say that this could fuck with you, like, your confidence and shit. Because I'm a small girl. And seeing all those girls with big asses. Like, I was just dancing. And at one point, niggas was throwing money on all the girls with asses. But nobody threw money on me. And I was just like, am I not fucking it up or something? And I was like, girl, you can't take it personal because other people did throw money on you. So it's really like they just have their preferences of what they like. But a lot of niggas like ass stuff. And I've been thinking about getting my butt done for a while. Don't know if I really will, but if I do, don't be surprised. So, but I'm home now. Um, I guess I will do a money count. I'm not going to do them all the time, but I will do them for the first few times just so, you know, we can all see together how much baby strippers paint. Okay, I just got home. I'm in my room. I just made myself a bowl of cereal, but I didn't pour the cereal in there because I don't want it to get soggy. I just put my cat to bed, put his iPad in there, a toy, treats, water, food, and his litter box is over there, so he's good for the night. It's about 6 a.m. Oh, Spliff in my uh, wallet from the guy at the party. Oh, uh, this is like leftover weed from what he gave me. He gave me a good amount of weed, which was really nice of him. So I thought he was just going to give me enough to roll up one split. I tried to buy one split at the party. It's so embarrassing because I left all my weed at home because I didn't know what type of place it was. But it's like a it's like a regular place that you could smoke in there. Like it's kind of like a house, but it's not a house. Like it has like a bar in there, a room, and there's like a giant lounge area. And there's like a slight like raised floor i wouldn't even call it a stage for like where the dj goes but yeah so i got a lot of split and he was he went up to some other guy and he's like yo don't send me dimes a bitch was hurt i just walked the fuck away and that nigga gave me this weed plus more because i rolled up and i rolled up another one at the party and i smoked it and there was some weed at the party and I smoked that shit too. It was like leftover weed on the rolling tray. I smoked that shit. And then, oh, damn, it's like, I always bring my own. I'm always prepared. But for some reason, it's just like I was traveling to Manhattan. And I wasn't trying to walk up in no spot and then try and take my weed. But there's my little nice, tiny little bag. And the funny thing is I went to buy a new outfit. I'm wearing it. Oh god. Which I'm wearing it right now. You'll see it in the vlog. It's cute. Whatever. But when I went to buy this, I tried to buy a money bag and the guy at the store he was like, We don't have any money bags. He was like, I have this bag though. This is the bag that we sell our sex toys in. He's like, I'll give it to you for free. So you can't tell, but it's a sex toy bag. And it doesn't say anything on it and it doesn't show anything on it. It says Tracy's dog, but you can't even tell unless you all up in the bag and it'd be dark so it's just so you know plain little money bag i feel weird doing this standing up and my back hurts so let me sit the fuck down hold up 
Okay, I literally just lay down. Like, I'm not even comfortable. Let's see what we need. I need back chip out, so that's good. But let's just hope I made more than yesterday. Well, I mean, um, Wednesday. It's really good. A 20 and two tens in here. My cat just started crying, which he's been doing for like the past few days now, and I know it's because he wants attention. And it's because I have not been home to give him any. Because I've been trying to fucking get money. I ain't been trying. I've been getting money. But everybody's been taking the money the second I get it. But it's hard to get my money up. But let's count. This is thirty two dollars, forty two, fifty two, seventy two. So after tip out, I still made money, which is lit. Um, it's not horrible, but it's nowhere near what I was hoping for. But I'm grateful that I made anything. I thought, you know, at first it was so shaky, I thought I wasn't making shit, but I'm happy I made anything, and I will try again another night, but literally, I can see the sun rising, that's disgusting, so I'm about to eat a bowl of cereal and watch something and smoke my freely and go to bed, so thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!